Good evening, everybody. I'm Pierre Roberge, the Daily Trader. It is December 17th, and we are going to take a look at Tesla stock from a technical analysis perspective. My goal in doing these videos is to help you understand how you can use technical analysis to make better trading and investing decisions. But I am not a financial advisor, so please do your own research and make your own decisions. So Tesla having a little bit of a down day today. So we are down $5 and 65 cents. Uh, that's 0.61%. We closed at 932.57. Post market, we seem to be up by one buck and 43 cents. Let's look at what we have here on the chart. After having a couple of days above 956 this week, we tried to break this resistance right here. We tried it, but did not succeed and came way back down. So we have been under 956 since yesterday. Today, we are a little bit higher than yesterday. But, and if we look at it here, so the can, the high of the day was just barely above 956. Let me tell you exactly what the high of the day was. It was at 9666. We tried to go higher, but then we were squished down. Look at the longer wick at the top here. So this is indicating that we tried to go higher, but then we're squished really down. So this is uh, showing a little bit of a selling pressure. And that wick is also very close to our resistance that we have had in the hourly chart that I just uh, made appear on the daily chart here. The stock is uh, going down. So basically we are, we are filling the gap uh, and I have the support at this horizontal support at nine, at 8.99. 8.99 is the support right here. And it looks like we are going to fill this. And uh, this is quite interesting because we are also getting very close to this diagonal support that, that I'm going to put the as a two pixel line at this diagonal support is the, is the resistance of the first channel that, uh, was used in the past a lot. The stock was bouncing on it, has been bouncing on it for a while, then came down a little bit into this first channel. And, and now we came to the third, the second and third channel. And now it looks like we are going back to the support on the second channel or call it the resistance of the first channel. So it looks like we are getting down to 899. Let's go see the one hour chart and see how it went today. So we opened quite low today. Uh, we opened at 914. 914, but then first hour we shot up to 930. Second hour we shot up to 956. And it looked like we were going to close above 956. Could not do it. Came back down a little bit, then tried again, very close on around 130, but then came back down to basically 930. So we are still in this downward trend. This is a short term downward trend, but we have not crossed this. This trend is going to be over when we cross it. When we cross it, when is it going to be? We could stay on 930 and then cross it then, or we can just go down a little bit further and try to cross it a little bit later. If we look at stochastic on the hourly chart, stochastic is still under 60. So there's no, we don't see any intention of going any higher as of yet. So we are going to have to look at uh, next week to see what happens. If we go on the daily chart. If we look at the indicators, so stochastic at eight, uh, still trending down. The RSI is still trending down. MACD has crossed over bearish a long time ago. And now the two lines are negative. DMI is negative. We are in a little bit of a free fall and we don't have any indication yet that the fall has stabilized because we are making lower lows and we are following this resistance right here. We tried to break it yesterday a little bit, but we came back down. So watch this resistance right here. This is the resistance that is going to tell you when the drop is going to stop. When we break this, it means that the drop has stopped. It does not mean that the stock is going up. It just means that we are not dropping anymore. We could be consolidating uh, horizontally for a little while. 
before we really try to go up. Let's just uh, eat some popcorn and watch this guy. Thank you very much for watching. Thank you for liking, commenting, subscribing. You can become a YouTube member if you want to join me on Sunday for my live where we look at the weekly chart for Tesla and Palantir. If not, we are going to talk uh, on Monday. And I'm going to tell you à la prochaine.